Festival of the Fourth. Triple OT, seven OTs. I was gonna pull that game out alive. With the big win, the famous D Sports Street, busy as ever here in Cleveland, Ohio. All right, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. And our broadcast team tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. You could say the alley-oop is perhaps the game's most exciting play. Ricky Rubio said that 80% of the credit should go to the finisher. LeBron James said, quote, the worst passes often lead to the best finishes. And Lonzo Ball said, when you have someone you trust to catch it, you can pretty much throw it wherever. Oh, well, yeah, he's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. Looking now at some numbers for Reggie Jackson. The ways in which he's been able to move the ball and get his teammates going has been special. His passing has really taken off during this last month, and his guys appreciate his unselfish attitude. So here's the Clippers starting group. Morris and Zubac play together in the front court. Then there's Nicholas Batum, then it's Jackson, and it's Coffey in a two-guard. And for Cleveland, they've got Darius Garland. Also, Okuru is out there. Mobley out there with Laurie Markkinen. And it's Wade in at the four. And deep into the season now, Grant. Are you noticing any trends that may just become a permanent part of the game? Well, I mean, of course, B.A., the fast pace of the NBA is here to stay. And players of all positions are continuing to develop deeper range from the three-point line. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Garland against Jackson. Pass to Zubats. And too long on the shot. Garland with the ball. Kicks it out to Markman. 4-3. No good there. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Here's Batum. Down low. And it's slammed in by Zubac. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Pass to Mobley. Outside Garland. To the middle. And there's the foul. It's on even to Zubac. That's his first foul. Not exactly how you want to dive into the game. Picks up his first foul right off the bat. First quarter, just over a minute play. Marketed it from long range. The Clippers grab the miss. They defeated Detroit in their last game. And they got into a consistent offensive flow, largely because the defense they were facing was poor. Yeah, it seemed like they got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. Here's the Kuro. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Cavaliers. Isaac Okoro. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And the Clippers making a change here. Hartenstein's checked in. And he sinks the second. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Coffey. Here's Hardenstein. 
Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. You know, since day one, Markman has been a solid shooter. Great touch from outside. Hard to disrupt his shot due to his size. Laurie Markman! Oh, that was nasty! A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Here's Hartenstein. Knocks it loose. And here's the fast break. Here's Garland. Pass to Mobley. And the basket's good. Hey, Off the assist from Garland. Mobley. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And you think about Martin and shooting Smitty. He rarely takes any deep twos. You know why, B.A.? He knows what his strengths are. But he has improved finishing in the paint. A lot to like about his game right now. Here's Hartenstein. Coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Shot clock at three. Over Markkinen. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Here's Garland. Nice start for him. Taking his first shot. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. Here's Batum. It's guarded by Markkinen. Pass to Hartenstein. Here's Batum. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Coffee can't get it to go. The Cavaliers leading. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Marketing. He gets it in there. Marketing. Marketing. Marketing's got his second basket on the night. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. A shot to stop the drought! Good work there as it goes. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Here's Mobley. Pass to Garland. Shoots over Jackson. Here's Mobley. Shots blocked. Here's Coffee. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Oh, man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for LA. Amir Coffee at the line for two. Perfect from the line this time. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Outside Garland. Pass to Mobley. Got a hand on it. Jackson against Garland. And he's going for the lob! And an emphatic jam on the lob. I like when Reggie Jackson is seeking out his teammates. He could have took that shot, but his teammate, he was wide open. Now here's Garland. And you look at his numbers, just over 21 a game. He got a piece of it. Pass to Mobley. Here's Okoro. Tries again. And Mobley with the basket. Mobley. With the assist by Okoro. Isaac Okoro. Good execution. They're getting some short range looks here. Garland against Jackson. It's deflected. Here's Batum. Inside. Another shot. And Jackson plays it in. A rare offensive rebound for Reggie Jackson, but he knows what to do with it once he gets it. Here's Garland. 
Wade, that's good. Great change of direction. He sold the defense that he was taking the look and instead found his teammate for an even better one. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Hartenstein. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for an error. The officials were right on top of that one. And let's take a moment to get in your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Cavaliers. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball and piling up the assist. And he drops the first. He does not get the second one. And as great as Markinen is on offense, his defense leaves much to be desired. Doesn't offer much defense as a post player at this point in his career. Now here's Garland. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Here's Coffey. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. And for Markinen and his defense, it's a work in progress. Grant, there's still some time for him to improve. He's got a long way to go. Not a natural oh. rebounder. Oh. It just looks a little uneasy oh. when switched into ISO situations. Defensive foul. And just a crafty Marcus. move Marcus. to get free Senior. for the dunk. Yeah, he's not just trying That's to score. Foul. He's trying to embarrass him. Love is checked in for the Cavs. The line for Levert Cleveland. comes in for Markinen. Furious Garland. Shooting. One. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. That's good from Garland. When he first came into the NBA, Grant, Darius Garland was a little bit of a mystery. He only played five games in college because of an injury, but it didn't stop the Cavs from taking him with the fifth pick overall in 2019. And that's how obvious his talent was. It was clear his offensive skill set could translate to the NBA. And when you've got a guy who can shoot over the defense, who can get into the lane and finish, you can't pass him up, no matter how many games he played in college. The line for the Clippers, Isaiah Hartenstein, two shots. He makes the first, but misses the second. For Cleveland, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. It's so sick, Whoa. the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. Jenny he has that man. effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Pass to Jackson. And he drives in. Great D that time from Rondo. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Osman to the inside. And it's Love missing. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Here's Jackson. Love grabs the miss. 
It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Well, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Eddie's play to stop that easy layup right there. Make him earn it at the line. At the line for the Clippers, Reggie Jackson. At the line for two. Falls for Jackson. And with Reggie Jackson, it's a testament to his natural talent that he often leaves us wanting a little bit more. And so Jackson nails both of them. And here's Rondo. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Osman. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Mann. He's checked by Levert. Clock at six. And he lobs it up to the rim! Isaiah Hartenstein. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Four-point game. Outside, Rondo. To the paint. Here's Love. The shot won't fall. Good D by Covington. Jackson outside. Oh, he didn't have his feet planted. That's his first personal foul. An outstanding defensive foul. play to earn the mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Up the line for the Clippers. Reggie Jackson taking two shots. first so he gets them both here's Osman 14 points for him last game against the Bulls in Chicago Shot clock at five. Driving inside. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Cavaliers lead by four. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Jackson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Aggressive on the drive. That's going to result in some free throws for Jackson. At the line for the Clippers. Reggie Jackson. Two shots. Falls for Jackson. No good on the second free throw. The Cavaliers leading. 
Here's Osman. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Fires the three. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got a rebound number five here tonight on the wing man. Jackson outside. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. His third personal foul. The seven-foot wingspan of Reggie Jackson makes him a bigger player inside. Shooting Helps him draw line. fouls. Reggie Jackson at the line for two. Falls for Jackson. And so Jackson nails both of them. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Levert outside. Pass to Stevens. Levert outside. Six on the shot clock. And that one drops. They have no answer defensively inside. The Clippers trail. 116 left in the first quarter of the game. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Jackson's got 11 points. You know, spending a lot of time in practice on shooting drills. Reggie looking calm and confident from that spot. Here's Osman. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. At the line for your Cavaliers, Jenny Osman. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Yeah, and it's still early, but missing free throws is something to keep an eye on. So it comes up empty at the line. An opportunity now to retake the lead. Showing off their intensity these last few minutes. Here's Stevens. Defended by Kennard. Pass to Osman. Inside. Lever. That's good. Paris, he has six. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. He brings it. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Mann. He's checked by LeVert. Out to Covington. The three is up. Nice start for him. Robert Sinking Covington. his first shot. First Great three. work collapsing the defense, then kicking it out. LeVert outside. Launches a three. Unable to get that one. It's a tie game in Cleveland. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this.
Well, we're seeing veteran players extending their careers like never before. Rajan Rondo credits his disciplined training regimen. I feel young, I feel athletic at times, I still feel fast, feel good, my body feels great. Lifting, yoga, whatever it takes to take care of my body. All that core and flexibility work makes a difference, Grant. It really does, and Rondo's natural athleticism helps too. Even losing a little bit of a step, he can still hold his own. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And taking a look at the Cavs' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. We've got Kevin Love, Rajon Rondo out there with Karis LeVert. Then it's Laurie Markkinen, and it's Stevens in at the three, the small forward. That's the group for Cleveland getting going in the second. Now here's LeVert. Outside, Rondo. Fires for three. That one is off. And the Clippers will come the other way. Their last encounter was in Los Angeles. They just couldn't get it done against this team last time. Their starters got into quick trouble because of some cheap fouls. Hopefully they exercise better caution in this game and avoid cheap fouls that could get them in trouble again. Now here's Markkinen. Levert outside. To the middle. Back to Rondo. Over Covington. Can't cash it in from the high post. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. It's guarded by Markkinen. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. All right, Sven, you won some titles at the international level. A world championship in 94, gold in 2000. So how do those compare to the ring you won with the Spurs? You know, B.A., they're totally different. Obviously, both of them are fantastic. But internationally, it's a little bit special because you're playing for your country and you have that USA across your jersey. And he hits the first of three. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Mobley, he's checked in for Love. Wade comes in for Stevens. Okoro is checked in for Levert. And Garland is subbed in for Rondo. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. The Cavaliers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Pass to Mobley. Here's Garland. And it's good for two. Garland's got seven. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., the Cavaliers steadily rebuilding since LeBron's departure. Their win percentage has climbed season over season. Coach Vickerstaff said, quote, development takes time, patience, and understanding. But there's a clear vision of the process that we go through to become champions once again. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. Here's Garland. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Great D that time from Zubats. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Here's Mann. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Here's Batum. Off target from outside. The Cavs trailing. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter. About three minutes gone by. Marking it from long range. Kept alive. 
Mobley. Oh, and down it goes. Jab, that was holy. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Pass to Batum. Knocked loose. Here's Zubats. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. He's checking for the Clippers. And we are popping. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. Just three to shoot. And the Clippers miss again for Cleveland. They've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Here's Akuro. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubac. Just five on the clock. Here's Garland. Count it. He's four for eight. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Here's Man. Pass to Batum. Jacks up with three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And it's always fun to see a defensive powerhouse like Evan Mobley. He savors any chance he gets to affect the shots or totally shut down an opponent. There the shot is good by Garland. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Man. There's the block. Here's the quarrel. Outside Garland. Let's it go from 11. And that one's long. Well, when you look at Mobley's collegiate stat line, blocks definitely jump out at you. He averaged almost three a game. Well, B.A., he obviously knows how to use all of his reach. But I'm sure he'll have to make some adjustments to be as effective here in the NBA. Here's Akuro. Pass to Mobley. Outside Garland. Here's Mobley. Back to Garland. And there's the foul. It's going to belong to Darius Garland. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Jackson, he's checked in for man. The Clippers trail. Here's Coffee. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. Reggie! That's his first foul. Jackson! That's his first personal foul. Now Garland. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Bulls in Chicago. Not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. Deflected! Here's Coffey. In his last outing, eight points for him. Here's the two. And it's rejected. As Los Angeles keeps possession. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets.
Six to shoot. Down low. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Cavaliers. Cavaliers ball. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. The Cavaliers have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Garland, the pass to Markkinen. Got it. Markkinen's got his third basket of the night. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Jackson, the pass to Zubat. Pass to Jackson. Here's Coffey. Over to the left wing. Shot to stop the run. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. Yeah, they found some decent looks. The shots just weren't falling. <laughs> Sometimes it goes like that. They never really got into a rhythm despite trying a few different things. Sometimes it's just not your night. That's his third. And good whistle there. First team foul. At the line for your Cavaliers. Lowry marketing. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You know, he's exceptionally focused, well liked by his teammates. Marketing looks to be a centerpiece for the future. Osman, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Marketing hits him both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Guarded by Markkinen. Jackson with it. Markkinen's there. Here's Batum. The Clippers rebound. Pass to Coffee. Back to Zubats. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Here's Osman. Here's Mobley. Count the basket. Mobley's got four points now in the quarter. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. To the inside, Zubats. That one doesn't go. He's just two for five. And it's Cleveland's ball. They're on a 16 to seven run. Pass to Akuro. Here's Mobley, outside Garland. Here's Mobley, defended by Jackson. Here's Mobley. Give him eight points now. And the layup falls. Mobley's got 10. Mobley. They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Jackson, pass to Zubats. Here's Batum. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Zubats' shot is off. Here's Akuro. to Garland. Plenty of space. And he's 6 for 12 after that one. Oh, it's oh, just oh. executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And the bucket is good. Marcus Morris, senior. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Garland against Jackson. Takes a three. Garland, no good. The Clippers shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. 
Two minutes. Here's coffee. It's guarded by Markkinen. To two the middle. Minutes. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's Zubac. Uses the glass on the he layup. Gets, uh, he has six. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Here's Okoro. A minute 37 left in the second period. Batum pulls it in. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Pass to Coffee. Down low. Some solid defense for Marketing. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Driving in. And the basket is good. He got it to go. And he got the ball. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity in a three-point play. Nikola Batum. Love has checked in for Markkinen. Karis LeVert comes in for Osman. And it's Rondo in for Garland. And the Clippers making a change here. One shot. And that one misses. 103 left in the first half. Left side Covington. Up top Jackson. Shot clock at six. Over Levert. It's tipped. Outside. Rondo. Here's Mobley. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first. On Robert Covington. Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for Cleveland. Evan Mobley taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Stevens has checked in for the Cavaliers. Both good from the line that time. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Love against Jackson. Here's the floater. And he lays it up and in. Jackson's got 13. Love that by Reggie Jackson. The floater is a natural move for him. Now here's LeBert. Give him eight. Down to five on the shot clock. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. There's the triple. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Cleveland came ready to play. They showed tremendous effort and drove the action early, starting off with a 9-2 run. As the first quarter came to a close, however, they found themselves up by just four. Moving into the second quarter, whoa, Nelly. Coach lit a fire under him, and it definitely had an effect. They almost got into a major rhythm as they finished the half up by 11. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? What stood out to me more than anything else was how hard they got after it on the offensive glass. They were keeping possessions alive. Take away those extra points, 
They're not in this position, Ernie. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. Hey, Ernie, it's not hard to see why they're down at this point. They're not even shooting 35% from the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they can create better shots, then they have a better chance. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Hey, nice game. Great performance by Darius Garland. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. Then there's Reggie Jackson, then there's Nicholas Batum, and it's Coffey in at the shooting guard. Well, Los Angeles shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. Batum penetrating. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Garland against Jackson. Here's Mobley. Back to Garland. And a foul ball on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. second personal foul. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for Cleveland. Darius Garland. Two shots. First free throw is good. Garland hits them both. Jackson with it. Pass to Zubats. Jackson with it. Guarded by Garland. To the left wing. Here's Batum. Shoots over Mobley. Batum shot is off. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And with Nick Batum, he's a very aware player. Always seems to make the right choice, Brad. I mean, he has a great assist-to-turnover ratio for his entire career. And it seems like he just gets better as he ages. Batum is simply a smart player who keeps things simple. Now here's Jackson. He's got 13. He a nice Zubas. shot by Zubas. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Pass to Mobley. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Wow, the shot goes game. in. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Up top, Jackson. Guarded by Garland. It's stolen by Garland. The finish! Rips down the breakaway slam. The height to see over the defense and the unselfishness. Terrific pass by Markkinen. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Back to Jackson. Bank 
knocked it in off the glass. Reggie Jackson. Jackson's got 15. Lots of contact. Jackson with the strength to power through. Something he didn't have when he first entered the lead. Pass to Mobley. Outside Garland. Fires from deep. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubac has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Batum shot is off. Man, and it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Basket counts. Okoro's got the second bucket on the night. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Huh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk about the Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. In. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. From deep. And the basket by Coffee. Five points in the game. Woo! He got a clean look and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Pass to Akuro. To the paint. Here's Mobley, and it's in after a nice bounce Mobley. off the right iron. Mobley's got 14 points. With the assist. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Inside. Here's Zubats. Cavaliers with a rebound. Mobley's got rebound number seven tonight. And they're plus five on the boards oh, after foul. that rebound. Marcus Morris, senior. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. And let's get your take, guys, on the That's scoring the breakdown for Cavaliers. Cleveland. Anytime you get as many points from the Taking paint as they shots. have, you know you've got a good thing going. You know what else? They never seem to get cold from mid-range tonight. Just keep hitting those jumpers. First one falls. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. The Clippers have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Pass to Coffee. Zubats with it. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. Hey, if you give him room, he's gonna score the ball. Here's Akuro. Marking it outside. To the inside. Garland. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname at Alabama was the young bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion for adversity. No matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Allie, right? Thanks for that. Oh, 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. Tries yet again. And he can't get that one. The Cavaliers go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 14. Outside Garland. Going inside. And down it goes. Two points. Garland's got six here in the quarter. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. And here's Zubats. Ten points for him. Here's Coffee. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got eight rebounds in the game. Right side, Garland. The Clippers grab the miss. Here's Mann. The three. It's rebounded by Wade. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. Pass to Garland. Wide open look. And he hits the jumper. Darius Garland. Garland's got 21. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one. Allowing too much space for a good shooter. Now here's Zubats. Here's Coffey. Six on the shot clock. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game. So the ability to play inside out. The more marketing attacks the rim, the more he creates opportunities for their perimeter game. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA. Grant, as a player, how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an off-season change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in mid-season, it can be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. Batum's gotten four this quarter. Relentless on the offensive glass, and then you love the finish. Now Garland, 21 points in the game. Pass to Markkinen. Five on the clock. Back to Garland. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Garland. Garland's got 23. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Guarded by Garland. Second chance effort. Count that bucket. DJ Five points in the game. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. For Cleveland, they've gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Levert outside. Pass to 
Stevens. Back to Levert. Here's Love. Off the left rim and out. Los Angeles has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. And we're going to have a jump ball. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Cleveland has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Garland, the pass to Levert. Outside Garland. Back to Levert. Covington grabs the board. The Clippers shooting around 41% in the third quarter. And it's Batum penetrating. Yeah, that Batum. one's good. Batum's got his third bucket of the night. Tell you what, I love that he didn't get rattled after being blanked in the first half. His shot has been absolute money since then. Levert, right side. It. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. So tough to negate the first wingspan when he's in attack mode. That's one of the deadliest characteristics. Harris, Lover, two shots. Throw good, Levert for the Cavaliers. Osman comes in for Markkinen, and it's Rondo in for Garland. Both free throws good for Levert. The Clippers shooting only 36% so far in this game. Kennard outside. Down low. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Shooting for LA. Nicola Batum taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So he makes both from the line. The Cavaliers have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. On Robert Covington. A ton of moves in Kevin's arsenal. Bates the defender into the foul. Love taking two shots. Free throw drops for Love. One of the many impressive things about Kevin Love, the way he's reshaped his body since entering the league. And Love drops them both. Los Angeles has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Man, checked by Rondo. On the 
wing man. Just five to shoot. No good. A bit long that time. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for. Two minutes, but it's a fairly clean look. Two minutes. Almost have to take it. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Pass to Kennard. Here's Batum. And Clippers miss again. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And he lays in the alley oh, pass. Steven. The Cavaliers lead by 17. That pass was from far, far away and right on the money. A serious long distance connection right there. Now here's Covington. Pass to Batum. Kennard on the wing. And the foul ball on the wing. That's his first foul. That's a great job to establish foul. position and Four. square up. Jackson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Coming to the floor for the Clippers. Reggie Jackson. And the Cavaliers with possession here. A 17-point lead, their biggest. Levert outside. That shot is off. And Los Angeles the other way now. He's checked by Levert. Takes it inside. The layup off target. Cleveland has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. To the middle. Kicks it out to Jackson. Shot to win the cold streak. Lovert with a rebound. And Cleveland shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. To the paint. Here's Love. And the basket is good. Love's got four points now in the quarter. This is the one thing you can count on from Kevin Love. He's going to stay active in the lane. Now the foul. Lamar Stevens. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Goes up off the inbound. The shot off that time. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Cavaliers ahead, up 19. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Got Jetty Osman. Karis LeBird is out there with Rajon Rondo. Then there's Kevin Love. And a Stevens in at the four slot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Left side Covington. Carries it down low. Robert and Covington knows his game. Has a great understanding for when he should look to shoot it. Pass to LeBird. The Clippers grab the miss. the drive. Count that one. I think he catches him off guard with the spin move right there. Now here's Rondo. Defended by Jackson. Outside low. Here's Osman. Defended by Kennard. Six to shoot. Cleveland needs to get off the shot. 
Love her. That's a three-pointer. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. He's checked by Levert. He takes it in. Oh, oh down. No, clear no. that deck. Deck cleared. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Oh, now that was a block. So much needed Andy there to jumpstart them back into this game. To the inside. Oh, and they fair. immediately answer back with a dunk on time to put multiple bodies on him. For the Cavaliers, Mobley, he's checked in for Love. Wade comes in for Stevens. And Coro is subbed in for Osman. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. Coffee comes in for Kennard. They throw good, Levert. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Pass to Zubac. Now Jackson on the take. That's good. And now he's 5 for 11 in this one. That is a powerful point guard right there. Reggie converting against very tight defense. Here's Okoro. Here's Wade. Right side, Rondo. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard! He's checked by Levert. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Coffee. Tipped! Now here's Rondo. Here's Okoro. Soft touch off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by 19. The unselfishness of Rondo always looking to get his teammates easy looks. Jackson, the pass to Covington. Back to Jackson. Puts up a three. Here's Zubats. And the layup is good. And Zubats. lately, this guy is finding points. I mean, just a beautiful second chance bucket right there. That's a carryover from the way he played in their last game. All out energy plays. But it's going to a huge performance. He slammed that thing through. <laughs> a nasty two-hander. He's checked by Levert. Let's the three fly. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Outside, Rondo. Pass to Mobley. And there's the rejection. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubox. Garland's checked in for Rondo. Levert outside. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. There's Jackson with the three. Not going to go that time. The Cavaliers go the other way with it. Here's Okoro. Back to Levert. Pass to Okoro. Five to shoot. Outside Garland. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Coffee. That basket is good. Here, Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist in this one. The Cavaliers have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Here's Garland. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Here's Mobley. Nice shot there. Making him eight for 13. Mobley. Serious, He's not about to start shooting mercy now. 
expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Now here's Jackson. Clock at six. Pass to Coffey from downtown. Cavaliers with a rebound. Marlon's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Wade. He's guarded by Zubox. Here's Levert. Ooh, that one makes him seven for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And it's slammed he in by Zubac. And if you're the defender, you have to respect the ability of Jackson to finish. That opens things up for the assist. Pass to LeBert. Here's Wade. And the foul called on Karis LeBert. That's foul number two for him. Check this out. That's only their second turnover tonight. They kept great control of the rock. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Markadin's checked in. Man, he's checked in for the Clippers. Pass to Zubac. Back to man. And here's Jackson. Back to man. Shot clock at five. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for L.A. Terrence Mann at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Hits both from the strike. For Cleveland, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Pass to Wade. Here's Mobley. Now here's Garland. And that one is hammered in! I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Now here's Jackson. Here's Coffey. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for L.A. Amir Coffey. Two shots. down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Garland against Jackson. Let's it go. That one off the back iron and out. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Pass to Coffey. Jackson outside. Six on the shot clock. Driving to the basket. Good on the shot. The way he glides around the court doesn't look like Jackson is moving as fast as he really is. 
Here's Mobley. He's guarded by Zubats. Here's Garland. And the shot goes down. Darius Garland. Garland's got 27 points. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Pass to man. That one falls. Marcus Great Martin timing. Senior. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Here's Akuro. Here's Mobley. He's guarded by Zubats. Here's Wade. Pass to Garland. It's rebounded by Zubats. And here are the Clippers now. Down by 15. And a basket Amir by Coffee. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love Zubac. to see this kind of offense. Here's Mobley. He's guarded by Zubats. Now Garland. And there's the drive. Basket's good. Garland. Garland's got 16 Mobley. points here in the second half. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Down low. Here's Zubats. Ooh, good finish in the rack off the Zubac. slick feed. They've come into the second half with renewed focus at the offensive end, putting in a big effort. Here's Garland. Count it. Good. Darius Garland. He's got eight here in this quarter. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Goes back up. And he lays it in. Marcus Morris, Not senior. just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk clock a little. Jackson against Garland. Drives to the hoop. And he bangs it home with one hand. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Clear the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Here's Coffee. Second shot opportunity. Blocked! A minute 39 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Jackson against Garland. Pass to Akuro. Five on the clock. From deep. And the Cavaliers are another three. three. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk LA, up the victory for the Cavaliers. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And it was a team effort tonight, collecting their 39th victory of the year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They'll wish they could have seen more of these guys. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Darius Garland. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, the one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. All right, we present our New Balance player of the game, Reggie Jackson. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. We've got 113 left to play in the fourth quarter. DJ Boston. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Here's Goodwin. Pass to Windler. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. 
Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Jackson outside. Hood with it. The three is up. No good. There's 45 seconds left in the final quarter. Here's Wendler. It's blocked. And they're pushing it up. There's Jackson with the three. Knocks down the Randy long Jay. You know, a little inconsistent from deep when he first entered the league. Jackson now an emerging three-point threat. Pass to Brown. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Inside. Oh. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his fourth personal foul. And it's going to be on him to Zubac. At the line for Cleveland, Moses Brown. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second one. 11 seconds left in the fourth. Top of the key jumper, no good. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you later.